Yes, thank you very much, Chairman. When we had a similar debate here about two months ago, I predicted that we had not yet discovered the full depths of the Pegasus spyware scandal. And I think with the revelations of recent weeks, that have certainly proven the point. It has also proven that it was a very good decision of this parliament to set up a committee of inquiry and get to the bottom of this, because that's exactly what we should do now. Get to work and leave no stone unturned. And I'm happy to report that the committee started two weeks ago uh, and that we will have a full and ambitious agenda for the next 11 and a half months, because we cannot overemphasize the severity of this scandal. When this kind of spyware is used against innocent citizens, whether they're journalists, activists, lawyers, businessmen or politicians, and regardless where in the European Union or even beyond this happens, it's first and foremost, of course, a horrible experience for the victims themselves, but it's also a wider threat to the overall rule of law and democracy in Europe. And this is why it's so important that the Parliament takes this very seriously. And it's also why I'm disappointed in the approach of the European Commission, refusing to investigate Pegasus spyware abuse in the member states hiding behind national security arguments because the scandal is not about using Pegasus to prevent terrorism or serious crime but about using it to spy on innocent citizens and that is not national security that is about the rule of law and the European Commission has a responsibility and it must take it I mean it was even reported that it was even reported that Commissioner Reinders was the target of such spyware himself. So unless the Commission believes that Mr. Reinders is a national security risk, I'm sure that this is a common responsibility that we need to address together. In any case, this Parliament will take its responsibility for fundamental rights, democracy and rule of law in the European Union. We are at the very beginning of our work, so it's too early to draw any concrete conclusions yet, but it's certainly not the last you've heard of us. Thank you.